Hey, what's up, guys? Patrick, and this is Legends Quest Guide. Anyways, there are a lot of items required for this quest, so I'm splitting the item list into two parts, and I'll show you the second one like later on in the guide. The items you'll need for now are a rune dragon or crystal hatchet, but if you already have one in your tool belt, you don't need to bring one. You also need one cut opal, one cut jade, one cut red topaz, one cut sapphire, one cut emerald, one cut ruby, one cut diamond, five papyruses, three charcoals. Three lockpicks, one soul rune, one mine rune, one earth rune, two law runes, armor weapon, and fill the rest of your inventory with food, except for three inventory spaces. I know it doesn't leave you much room for food, but that's really all you need. To start the quest, go to entrance of Legends Guild, circle red on the map. Talk to a Legends Guard, and select the options shown on screen. When you're through the gates, talk to the guy in the first building to the north, and select the options run on screen. Go to that small area near the entrance of Shiloh Village, circle around on the map. Chop down the bushes and trees until you get into the open area to the south, and drop the logs you get. The open area to the south is called the Karazi Jungle. You have to map out three sections of the jungle which you do by right clicking the notes and choosing complete to do one of the sections. There's a chance of failing this, if it fails one charcoal will disappear in which case you need to try again. Like I said, you need to map out three different sections of the jungle. First area you just did was the middle section, now you need to complete the western and eastern sections. The red lines are supposed to represent the separation between three sections, so make sure you actually walk past them. When you're in the right area, just like before, right click the notes and choose complete, there's still a chance of failing. When you're done, there should no longer be an option to complete the notes. Then go to any of the areas, circle red by chopping through bushes and trees just like before. Talk to a jungle forester and select the options run on screen. Use the completed notes on the jungle forester and say yes, go ahead and make a copy to get a strange looking object. Chop down the bushes and trees until you get into the open area to the south, and drop the logs you get. Swing the strange looking object, or the bull roar, and some guy should appear. Talk to him, and select the options run on screen. Sometimes this fails, and it'll disturb one of the nearby monsters, in which case just try again. You might have to move to a different area. Go to the area in the jungle, circle run on the map. You should find three rocks that are really close together. Search this rock and say yes, I'll crawl through and very athletic to crawl into the hole. Investigate the firewall in the middle of the room and select the options written on screen. Search various objects around the room to find three different notes and rate them. Some of the objects will have the option to look at them and search them. You need to actually search them, not just look at them. Investigate the firewall in the middle of the room and select the options written on screen. Exit the area to get back to the jungle. Swing the strange looking object or the bull roar and some guy should appear. Talk to him and select the options run on screen. Sometimes this fails and it'll disturb one of the nearby monsters. In which case just try again. You might have to move to a different area. Also you should get a sketch at the end of the conversation. Go to the area in the jungle, circle around on the map. You should find three rocks that are really close together. Search this rock and say yes, I'll crawl through and very athletic to crawl into the hole. Search the bookcase in the northeast corner with the crevice behind it and say yes please to squeeze it into the crevice. Search the ancient gate to the south to pick the lock. There's a chance of failing and losing a lockpick, in which case just try again. Smash the boulders to bits until you get to the end of the room and drop the rocks you get.
open the next aging gate and say yes, I'm very strong, I'll force them open. Go south, follow the path until you reach a jagged wall, and jump over it. Look for another red line nearby on your minimap to find a marked wall. Search it and say yes, I'll read it. Use the runes on the marked wall in this order. One soul rune, one mine rune, one earth rune, and two law runes. Then say yes, I'll go through it again to the next room. Search a carved rock to get a riddle. So this is the map of the area you're currently in. There are seven bodies of water, and each one has a carved rock sticking out of it, just like the one you just examined. Use the cut gems on the carved rocks in the places they're in on screen. When you're done, you should levitate to the center of the room. A binding book will eventually appear near you. Pick that up. Here is the second item list. Teleport out and get these items. Bank anything that's on this list. You need to make sure you're on a regular spellbook, and the first four items were from this quest, so you should already have them. Just make sure you bring them with you. You also need 90 water runes, 9 cosmic runes, 3 unpowered orbs, 3 lockpicks, 1 vial of water, 1 rope, 6 gold bars, armor weapon, and fill the rest of your inventory with food. I also recommend bringing a summoning familiar that can hold items and fill that with food as well. Go anywhere that has an anvil. Smith on the anvil, say yes to make a golden bowl, do this three times. Head to the area in Karamja, circle around on his map. Search one of these palm trees to get a grimy Ardragil and clean it. Head to the area in Karamja, circle around on his map. Search one of these marshy jungle vines to get a grimy snake weed and clean it. Go to that small area near the entrance of Shiloh Village, circle around on the map. Chop down the bushes and trees until you get into the open area to the south, and drop the logs you get. Swing the strange looking object, or the bull roar. And some guy should appear, talk to him, and select the options run on screen. The point of this is just to bless one of your gold bowls, but it can fail, which is why you need extras. Make sure one of them is actually called a blessed gold bowl when you're done, or else you need to try again, and you can drop the extras. Go to the area in the jungle, circle around on this map, you should find a water pool. Right click a tall reed and cut it to get a hollow reed, then use on the water pool to fill the blessed bowl. Go to the area in the jungle, circle around on the map. You should find three rocks that are really close together. Search this rock and say yes, I'll crawl through and very athletic to crawl into the hole. Use the golden bowl on the firewall to get inside. Use the binding book on the guy to summon a demon and kill the demon. Right click the guy, talk to him, and say I need to collect some yummy tree seeds, then drop the seeds, talk to him again to get more, then do it one more time and pick up the seeds that you dropped. Talk to him again, and select the options run on screen. Touch the firewall to walk through it, and exit the area. Swing the strange looking object, or the bull roar, and some guy should appear. Talk to him, and select the options run on screen. Use the Yami tree seeds on the golden bowl to germinate them. 
You can go to the area in the jungle, circling around on this map, you should find a water pool. Right click a tall reed and cut it to get a hollow reed, then use on the water pool to fill the blessed bowl. Swing the strange looking object or the bull roar and some guy should appear. Talk to him and select the options run on screen. Go to the area in the jungle, circle around right on the map. You should find three rocks that are really close together. Use the clean adragale and clean snake weed on the vile water to create a bravery potion, but don't drink it yet. Search this rock and say yes, I'll crawl through. I'm very athletic to crawl into the hole. Search the bookcase in the northeast corner with the crevice behind it and say yes please to squeeze it into the crevice. Search the ancient gate to the south to pick the lock. There's a chance of failing and losing a lock pick, in which case just try again. Smash the boulders to bits until you get to the end of the room and drop the rocks you get. Open the next ancient gate and say yes, I'm very strong, I'll force them open. Go south, follow the path until you reach a jagged wall, and jump over it. Find the marked wall again, and use it to get into the next room. Go to the Asian gate to the north, search it, and say yes, I'll read it to get a riddle. Use the charge water orb spell on the door to get into the next room. This can fail, which is what the extra runes and orbs are for, so if you fail, just try again. Use the rope on the winch in the middle of the room, drink the bravery potion, and say yes, I'll bravely drink the bravery potion. Then climb down the winch and say yes, I will shimmy down the rope into the possible doom. Try to take the nearby blue hat, and the skeleton will appear to talk to you. Follow the path, and climb over the rocks until you reach the bottom. If you get lucky, you might even get to take the fast way down, which is falling. You'll find three different monsters spread throughout the area. The names are written on screen, and you need to kill one of each. Keep in mind each one has multiple spawns. Make sure the three that you kill are different. After each kill, you should get a different piece of a crystal. Go to the furnace in the northeast corner, and use the three pieces of the crystal on it to get a hard crystal. Look at the hard crystal to get another riddle. Go to the area circle and right on his map. Use the hard crystal on the mossy rock to turn it pink, then go southeast to the shimmering field. Use the hard crystal on the recess to the east, then walk through the shimmering field. Go southwest until you reach the water. Try to push one of the boulders, and a spirit should appear to talk to you. Select the options run on screen, and you should get a dark dagger. Go back to the top of the path where you found the blue hat.
wield a dark dagger, try to take the blue hat again so a skeleton appears and kill him. Go back down to the water. Wield your original weapons, try to push the boulder again so the spirit appears to talk to you. You find out the spirit is actually the demon in disguise, so kill him again when he appears. Push all three boulders out of the way after you kill him. You need to stay on the east side for it to work. Teleport out and go to the area in the jungle circling Red Oz map where you should find the water pool. If you want, this will be a good time where you stock on food, you still have to fight a few more things. Right click a tall reed and cut it to get a hollow reed, then use on the water pool to fill the blessed ball. Then go to the dark spot a little bit to the northwest, use the yami tree seeds on the fertile soil, then use the golden bowl filled with water on the tree and wait for it to grow. There's a chance the tree will die, in which case, wait for the tree to disappear and dry again. When it's grown, chop the adult yami tree, trim the branches of the felled yami tree, carve the trimmed yami, and finally lift the totem pole. Go a little bit east to find another totem pole. The first thing you need to do is heal to full HP. Then use the Yami Totem on the Totem Pole, the demon will appear again and start attacking you, but you can't do anything about it and it'll feel like you're lagging. That's intentional, which is why I said heals to full HP. Um, you now have to fight the three guys that you fought before for the Crystal Pieces, except this time there's no Crystal Pieces. Uh, kill them and then the demon again for the last time. After killing the demon, use the Yami totem on the totem pole, and the guy should appear. Talk to him to get a gilded totem. Go to the building of Legends Guild, circle right on his map. When you get here, talk to this guy. Go into the building to the north, talk to the guy again, and say yes, I'll train now. Then pick whatever skills you want XP in four times. That will be the end of the quest. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, remember to like, favorite, and subscribe if you haven't already. Catch you guys later. Peace.